So there are a couple of things that I want to talk about today. And one of them is my dentist. <laughs> my dentist and dreams. I want to talk about those two. So I'm going to start off with my dentist. I do honestly believe that he is a dentist for light workers. And the reason why I say that is because I know they are light workers and I feel he and his wife, because his wife works in his office and it's just him. He's the only dentist there. Every time I go there, I see and feel things and it's pureness. It is so pure. I have seen angels in the clinic and every time I'm there, you know how you're always reclined back looking at the ceiling. I see orbs going everywhere. Today I went to have my teeth cleaned. It was very traumatic. <laughs> they found another cavity and it's pretty bad and I need it crowned. I have been through some difficult times in my life. I, I'm just gonna leave it at that. There's been times where I could not go to the dentist. And I'll just say that because I don't want to bash anybody anymore, ever, if I cannot. <laughs> so anyway, I'm playing catch up now, trying to fix my teeth, repair the damage, and go on with my life. So they were, they had done a lot of uh, scraping. There wasn't a lot of scraping, actually. It was very little, but the, the biggest part was the two, I have a hole in this tooth, which is brand new, and it's at the gum line. And then the other one is on the inside at the gum line. Somehow it tunneled its way underneath my tooth. I'm kind of getting off track. So laying in the chair, looking up, I, I see orbs with a black background or against a bright light, meaning my ring light or a really bright light. Like my ceiling fan light isn't that, that bright and not pure white as the, I guess the fluorescence maybe, that light that they bring down over your face to do your teeth. That is one, well, maybe not. Well, yeah, I've seen, I've seen orbs going underneath that light, but I've seen more orbs up at the ceiling which was above the light, but there was a big window in front of me also. So I seen orbs going by and before she reclined me back, I'm looking out the window and I see <laughs> about that big, bigger than a tennis ball, gold orb kind of weaving in out of a tree that was in front of a house, between the house and the dentist's office. There was a tree and it was weaving in and out of the leaves. And when I really got to focus on it, it disappeared. And I was sitting there thinking, oh wow. <laughs> I think that was one that just went by. That was interesting. So throughout the whole visit, I saw orbs. And every time I go there, I see orbs. I just sit there and stare at the ceiling and watch them go by. So now I'm gonna talk about my, my dreams. Oh, let me, let me kind of put more into the dentist thing. I think all the star seeds and light workers and such go see him to have their teeth and every clean and everything else cleaned. And so I think he's just like a dentist for light workers. There's a couple of other people that go there that I do know personally, and they're light workers and star seeds, but they're still asleep. They're not aware of who they are. And sometimes light workers and star seeds and indigos and everything, they just stay asleep. They're doing their work and they don't even know it. They might even deny who they are they are if you approach them and say oh you're a star seed they're gonna be like you know whatever this woman's crazy um but they're doing their their mission the whole time they're asleep not like physically asleep but you know they're not awake to who they are so and you can't force somebody to wake up because it's not their path it's not their mission they come here make an agreement that hey i don't want to even know that i'm a star seed i just want to go around spreading love and joy you know so now my dreams i want to talk about my soulmate ezekiel and my dreams i have been and this might be some tmi but i won't give graphic details for sure so i dream a lot here lately I guess for about the past six months or so. It might be even longer, come to think of that. Of meeting a man, 
but he looks different every time I see him. Every time. One time, um, this is to my painter friend, if you're watching my video. Um, I think she's on the road, so she might miss it. Um, but I thought that my soulmate Ezekiel looked a specific way. And today as I was getting ready for work, I kind of got a channeled message saying, he comes to you in different forms because he has no form. He is just light energy, which is an orb. You can always, I guess, have a form that could be possibly forming a human body, but pure light. But I'm wanting to say that it's more or less an orb. So he does come to me in my dreams. And every time I see him, he's different. For this whole time, I thought this one time that when he grabbed me in an embrace, when he grabbed me, I woke up in a gasp and I thought, that's him. That's what he looks like. Because I woke up, you know, I was like, because oh, I was excited, not scared or frightened. I was thinking of a different word and couldn't even think of it or say it, I should say. Anyway, so... Every time I see him, he's different. And there's times where we just cuddle and kiss. And there's times where there's more than that. But he's different every time. But now, as time has went since the first time, I dream about him more and more and more. So now it's got where all I have to do is think to him. Saying, you know, I would love to see you in this dream tonight. I know it's not a dream. But I would like to see you and just cuddle. And I was thinking that last night before I went to sleep, or it might have been yesterday. I can't remember. But I think to him, and I was just like, you know, it'd be nice just to cuddle, to be held and such. I think it was the night before. I, I cannot remember all of these things. It might have been yesterday. I can't remember. But anyway, we were in a vehicle in which had been a ship or it was just made to look like a vehicle and we were actually cuddling. And then is it the last night or the night before um, or all together, I can't remember, where he gave me, there was flowers involved and I don't remember how they come about, but we ended up like at a club or something. I'm not sure, but we had, I told the bartender, he said, what do you want? And I said, surprise me. So he made me something that I wasn't aware of and it cost a lot. I don't remember how much it cost. I just remember thinking, whoa. And I got it and it tastes like cough syrup is all I can remember thinking. And I looked at Ezekiel and I said, this is disgusting. Here, try it. And he thought it was disgusting too. And as he was sipping it, it was like in a shot glass kind of, or a rock glass. And if you're not familiar, it's about this big and pretty wide and you put ice in it and such. But he was drinking it. While he was drinking it, I was kissing his cheek and stuff. I was enjoying his company and getting all cuddly. And he chugs it on the second drink and he turns to me and started kissing me passionately. And I remember thinking, whoa. And then my alarm goes off. <laughs> I'm like, really? I don't know if I was dreaming that at that point when my alarm went off. I don't know if I was dreaming and then he took that memory away from the kissing part forward. And then I just remember the alarm going off. I don't know how that works. I feel like we should be sometimes asking our guides and always remember they hear your thoughts. And let's just say my return guide is Orin. He is truly my guide, which is Orin. If I really need the answer in something, you can actually say, can you give me the answer in a dream, Orin? I would like to know. Can you come to me and deliver this message? And if it's possible, or if it's in the contract, he will. He'll come and give you a cryptid, message in your dream and I say that meaning as in a lot of the times when I meet Ezekiel it's in your either a car or a ship as in a boat ship it's in a vessel of some sort in which I feel they either disguise that or you actually go to a UFO and they disguise that I'm not sure how that works but it's like you have to piece things together in that dream <laughs> and 
come up with that message they're trying to give you. And why that is, I don't know. Because, for instance, I could sit here and tell Ezekiel if I said, hey, come and cuddle tonight. And he he came to me, but we didn't cuddle. We went for a jog. I would have to, like, decipher what that was. I'd be like, okay, was he busy? Was he not there? He was running away because he had another part of something to do. I don't know. I don't, I mean, you just have to guess at what that means, I guess. I also want to say, if you say, hey, Oren, that wasn't clear enough. Can you come back tonight and give me a better detailed message? Because I didn't understand what you were saying. So that is another good way of doing that. So yeah, I want to talk about my dentist today and my dreams. Remember always, you can sit there. You don't have to, you know, close your eyes and pray. I mean, you can if that's what you feel that you should do or if it, you feel called to do that. But you can pray silently in your head as you're working or when you're on the phone or something because every every entity hears your thoughts. Yeah, today was... Oh, I got to tell you another thing about my dentist trip. So they go in there and the dentist pulls down two parts of my gums to see how bad the cavity was. And um, I think she scraped around also. And then the stupid x-ray blocks they put in your mouth, that always hurts my gums. But I go to work and I chew gum all day, every day, because I am an extreme jaw clincher. I'm, pro to, I'm prone to migraines, and that helps not bring one on. Now, if I don't have gum all day, I have to try to keep my tongue between my teeth so I won't clench. And sometimes when I'm stressed, I clench more. But I go to work after my dentist appointment, and I pop gum in my mouth, and I'm chewing, chewing, chewing. Oh my gosh, before I got off at five, my j jaw joints are here, were killing me. My gums are killing me. The back of my head is starting to hurt. I, I, I should have known better not to chew gum after all of that. But yeah, that's all I've got. <laughs> that's all I've got. I downloaded my uh, video from last night and got it this morning and it didn't finish. And now it's got where I have to shut down my laptop, my MacBook, every night, because if I don't, my video will not upload fully. It, it looks like on the computer it did, but when you go on the app and look, it didn't. So you have to do it all over again. So this morning I had to redo it all over again. And I've lost more subscribers. I almost lost 10 subscribers. I have not lost that many that I remember. But they always seem to come back. I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, that's all I've got for you today, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to end this here. I love you guys tremendously. I hope you like this video. And I'm going to send you love, light, and peace. Bye.